Today I want to talk about dreams, and this is kind of a little bit on the fly, so bear with me. So I was thinking about this, and you know, when you're younger, you know, say elementary school, you know, maybe you want to be an astronaut, maybe you want to be a teacher, maybe you want to be a fireman. Um, you know, it's essentially there's no bound to what you could do. Um, the future is very exciting. You know, if you're fortunate enough to live in an environment and go to go to school where you know you have the ability to dream that's probably one of the most important things you know you can see a vision for your future you can dream beyond the box of you know where you grow up where you go to school you can see beyond your current circumstance right that's 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 really important and you know when you're super young like that you know, you could do anything. You could do anything in the world. And the older you get and the more you progress through school, you know, you kind of narrow your path a little bit. You know, maybe in middle school, you know, you kind of got a knack for like STEM kind of stuff, math and science. So, you, you know, that's kind of part of your personality. You know, you're kind of, you know, going down that path and then you get into high school and then, you know, you, you tend to be good at math, math and science, say. And then, you know, college applications come around, you know, you're good at math and science. So, you know, how about biology, you know, study biology in college. And, you know, you can see from the time you're young to the time you graduate college, you've, you've, you've honed in on something, right? Whether it's, you know, that, that thing you honed in on, maybe it's, you know, part and parcel of that dream that you had when you were younger. Maybe it's something completely different, right? And that's, and that's okay because, you know, when you're 10 years old, you know, good luck trying to predict what you like and what you want to do when you're 20 or 30 or 40 or 50, like it's impossible, right? Every, every couple of years, you're an entirely different person, right? Have a, have a five year um, crusade, right? Every five years, you know, you might not want the same things that you have now or aspire to do the same things, you know, maybe you know, you kind of change path and you decide to do something else. And that's, that's totally good. But what I'm trying to get at here is that imagination and that dreaming ability that you had when you were younger, carry that on throughout your entire life. When you're in middle school, when you're in high school, when you're in college, when you're 30, when you're 40, when you're 50, if you can keep that, you know, kind of, kind of, limitless there's no bound to what you could do you know anything is possible kind of kind of mindset you're going to stay young right right you're going to be you're going to be a kid at heart you're going to see opportunities and things you're going to i think in general you know be be happier you're going to see possibilities in the future right it's exciting you could do anything you know any any moment you could make a decision and it changes your entire life for the better right and so keeping that kind of mindset throughout life is, is really challenging, right? I'm sure you've experienced this. And, you know, something that I've noticed, you know, I just, just graduated college and, you know, I'm getting into my, my occupation, you know, doing my job and being able to maintain, you know, that, that big dream, you know, that sense of imagination and, and limitlessness, you know, it's, it's, it's harder and harder the older, older you get to keep that kind of mentality and that energy alive, right? To keep that dream alive, to keep the sense of, you know, just possibility alive. You know, it's really easy to, um, you know, you start a job and then you just start doing it and your head's down and you just kind of keep, you know, going through the, going through the motions of your job, you know, wake up, get ready to, for work, go to work come back, sleep, eat, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you just repeat that before you know it, like five, 10, 15 years go by. And it's, it's honestly terrifying, right? Because, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of locking yourself into one track and, you know, maybe you love your job and you can do that for 15 years, but you have to stay young in your mind, young at heart, right? You don't want to become bitter about your current life circumstance or anything like that because that's just like a miserable way to be right and so you know every day even for myself every day is a challenge to be able to keep you know that that pie in the sky that big dream of what i want to have for my life every day is a challenge to kind of protect that future 
right? Just in my mind, you know, because it's it's really easy to look at something and go, you know, this, you know, what I have now, like this is okay, like, yeah, you know, I'd like to have something better, but you know, I, I I'm making enough now, and you know, things are kind of nice, and you know, maybe I'll just stay where I'm at right now, right? Stick or twist, like, you know, it's 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 dangerous, right? I think. You know, especially if you're young, you know, you could do this at any age, but especially if you're young, like you could move across the country, you could sell all your belongings, you could like, you could make such a radical shift in your life when you're young and you have, you, you know, you don't have any, um, you know, you don't have children, you don't have, um, you know, a, a partner, you know, you could just go out and do whatever you want and it's free, right? It's awesome. You could choose any kind of life you want. And the idea here is that you have to you have to guard your mind against all those things that are coming at you trying to take you off your path, right? Take you off holding that vision of in your mind of what you want to do, you know, the big the big dream you have, you know, every day, you know, it's whether it's on your phone, right? These 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 weapons of mass distraction, right? These, you know, you got your phone, you got the TV, you got all these things vying for your attention, trying to pull you away from, from what, what's most important to you, you know, because we, we've, we kind of prize the instant gratification, easy thing, right? Oh, I could, I could study and, and maybe get this certification and kind of up my, my career or, you know, you know, I could just scroll on my phone for an hour. Oh, you know, there's a new episode on, on the, on the TV, you know, I could go watch that. You know, that's a lot, that's a lot more fun than sitting there reading a book, right? Studying. And so you have to, you have to guard your mind. You have to guard your time. Like you got to watch it like a hawk, man. And the biggest thing about it is it's, it like time, time just goes by so much faster. The older you get every, every minute matters and you got to make every second count. Because if you have things you want to do in your life, you should definitely act on them and do them. You know, no matter what your life circumstances is. Like there's someone, there is someone out there that is less fortunate than you, had less means growing up than you, that is doing what you want to do or better, right? There's seven, eight billion people on this planet. I can guarantee you someone has done what you want to do and come from worse and done it, right? So there's no excuses. And I think that that's, something that's really powerful because you know we could always blame something right you could blame the government you could blame your boss you could blame your friends you could blame your family you could blame um you know just name it right you could just push the blame off to someone else and be like that's the reason why i can't have what i want and it's a piss poor way of looking at it because the moment you take responsibility over what you want in your life you have the controller, you have the remote in your hand. You can change the channel. It's up to you, right? And so with this message, I just, just wanted to kind of reiterate that point. You know, you can, it's never too late to make a change. You know, whatever that dream is you have in your mind, you got to keep that alive. You know, I think that's part of what being your authentic self is about, right? Maybe you do it in a big way. Maybe you do it in a small way. You know, maybe your thing is cooking, right? You really like cooking. You know, you could be a professional chef somewhere or you could just kind of hone that talent at home, right? You know, on the weekends or for dinners, you know, you kind of look up recipes and you get really into it. You like do the little techniques and everything. Like you kind of hone that craft, right? Right. It's like a hobby. Same thing if, um, you know, you like art, right? Maybe you won't be the next Vincent Van Gogh. Maybe you will. But you can always just paint, you know, you can always just draw, you can always nurture that thing that you've always kind of naturally been attacked, you know, been attracted to, you know, felt a pull towards, no matter how big or how small it is. Because I think when you're able to do that, you're able to be more yourself, you're more in your own skin. You know, you're you're living a reality in line with your nature, right? And and when you're living that out. Not only do you feel more whole, you feel more, more, more fulfilled because you're doing something you really enjoy, but you're also a much more interesting person. 
right? You know, who wants to talk to someone that all they do is spend time scrolling on their phone, right? They might, oh, you know, did you hear about this meme? Did you hear about this meme? Like, th think about anything. Like, if someone's into, like, you know, music and stuff, and then they meet someone else that's in music, like, you could have a conversation for hours, you know? Cooking, oh, you know, there's these recipes, and, you know, I knew this, this new technique, and, you know, drawing, oh, you know, did you hear about, you know, this artist or this part? Like, there's so much more depth to you. The more you acquire skills and, and knowledge and talents, you know, that are in line with what you enjoy, what you've always felt is something that you should, you should work towards. And so that's just my message today. You know, don't let, don't let those dreams die, you know, do, do everything you can every day just to stoke the coals, just to keep it alive a little bit, right? Day by day, just constantly, you know, whether that's, you know, you know, for goals, you know, writing out a goal and you review it daily, right? That's, that's super powerful because you don't want to just go, you know, you have a big goal on New Year's, right? New Year's resolution. Everyone loves to do it. You know, you could go, oh, you know, I'm going to go to the gym and then you write that down, you know, you're really excited about it. And then you go to the gym for two weeks and then you kind of slack off. And then like a month goes by and you're like, oh yeah, I was going to go to the gym. And then you go to the gym and then, you know, a couple more weeks go by and then you, you know, you get back on the grind Having, you know, habits, habits are going to be what make or break, what make or break you, right? Whether it's, you know, your goals, your hobbies, habits are going to be what control it. And so you got to guard that, right? That comes down to your time. That comes down to distractions, right? Guarding your mind against all these external influences that are just trying to take away your time, take away your energy, directed towards the thing that you feel that you feel you were meant to do on this earth right and so that's just my message today you know keep those keep your dreams alive right no matter how big or how small do something every day to remind yourself of them nurture you know nurture them in your mind work towards them right that's the most important thing take action on them you know and work towards having a better life for for you and your family and the people around you and so that's it for this one. If you guys like this kind of content, you know, go ahead and hit subscribe, you know, hit the, uh, the like button and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Take care.